Last week, Thursday, Friday, there's been a few statements made by, uh, made by both the party that is submitting the bid to build MRT systems, Gamuda MMC uh, Joint Venture, as well as by the Land Public Transport Commission, SPAD. Now, the Land Public Transport Commission was actually first announced by uh, our previous Prime Minister, uh, Datuk Sri, oh, sorry, Tun Abdullah Ahmad Badawi, in June 2008. It has been two years. It actually has been two years since SPAD was first announced. Unfortunately, as of today, the, although the structure of SPAD has more or less been finalised with uh, Datuk Sri uh, Syed Hamid Alba as the, as the chairman, it is still unable to proceed with its urgent task of revamping, restructuring and regulating our public transport system due to legislative issues. As the newly appointed Chief Operating Officer of SPAD, Shari Mukta admitted last Thursday, we don't have power just yet. Okay? What is, however, most damaging for SPAD while exposing the government's lack of coherent policies and actions on public transport is the separate and independent announcement the latter has made on the proposed mass rapid, trans uh, mass rapid transit system, MRT system for the Klang Valley. While SPAD has given the, been given the vital role to coordinate, integrate and regulate all public transport systems in the country, it is completely left in the coal in the development of probably Malaysia's biggest public transport investment, estimated at nearly 50 billion for the next decade. During the same press conference on Thursday, SPAT had admitted that he had not been briefed on the MRT plans and could only issue a face-saving statement that his official will study the MRT proposals and incorporate all of that, if possible, into its own public transport master plan for the Bank Valley. Okay, that's all they said. However, at the same time, same day, it appears that the, uh, the MRT proposals are already coming to fruition with Gamuda's unsolicited proposal to the government making significant headways in the PM's department. Gamuda had briefed the local research houses that feedback so far on its proposal to build the MRT was positive. In fact, a report by OSK Research said that Gamuda's management, along with the joint venture partner MMC, feel that they have an 80-85% chance of winning the job and it will commence as early as 2011. So they have already admitted, they have already beat, they sounded out and given that they are experienced corporate players, okay, they are already there to say they have 80-85% of winning the job. So confident are they with winning the project that an M, M Research report has said Gamuda had already commenced soil investigation and survey works to prepare groundwork for the project. Gamuda's management was also able to reveal that the funding for the project would likely to be backed by the federal government under a deferred payment scheme okay, uh, that may take between 10 to 30 years implying a AAA rating for any papers to be issued. This actually gives me a reminder of what happened during the PKMZ scandal, you know, the fact that you no know, government backed the papers. In addition, Gamuda has already submitted a legal opinion to the AG's office, Attorney General's office, to amend existing regulations to expedite land acquisition. This, this is all happening behind the scenes before any proposal submission has been evaluated by SPAC. Okay? This is direct with the government, okay? direct one-to-one. -one, okay? The government hasn't even called for a tender for the, the MRT system. No tender at all and we have already seen all this. Now it cannot be overstated that the government is putting the cart before the horses and it's rushing headlong, it is rushing headlong as it did in the 1990s when he privatised the various public transport systems. Two LRT systems, one monorail, as well as the consolidation of public and private bus companies. That was in the 1990s. The result in the 1990s was disastrous, both financially for the government, as it had to bail out all these companies to the tune of 9 billion ringgit, as well as the complete lack of integration between the different rail lines and bus operations. Okay, you know, the monorail stops before it enters the KL Central. Masjid Jami has two stations, they are completely not connected. No? LRT systems are going to bus terminals that is a fair bit away. These are the, the signs of a completely unintegrated public transport system because there was no public transport master plan. And now we are seeing the same thing again. It is imperative for SPAT to, be, to first design and develop the public transport master plan for Klang Valley as well as for other cities after thorough consultation with state governments, stakeholders, as well as public transport experts to ensure an integrated public transport network is in place. It is only after such a plan has been developed and endorsed that the action can be taken to execute the plans. As an example, while Gamunda may have considered the integration of the MRT lines to the existing LRT networks, 
are they going to be integrated based on optimal public transport con connectivity, which is what we want, or are they going to be integrated based on Gamida, Gamuda's own commercial considerations, which is what they want. Okay? Are the MRT stations going to be built in areas where bus terminals can be set up adjoined to the stations to ensure an integrated feeder bus system? Or are they going to be separate completely from bus systems? And the only people who can decide all this is PET, but they are completely left out of the picture. These are questions which SPAT can resolve, only SPAT can resolve and impose on any public transport operator. However, in the government's eagerness to award the MRT contract to the Gamuda MMC joint venture, it appears that public interest, especially to create the desperately needed fully integrated public transport system in Klang Valley, has already taken a backseat. SPAT must immediately insist to the Prime Minister that any plans to award contracts such as uh, for, for MRT system must only come after it has developed the master plan and its plan for execution. Otherwise, the SPAT will just become like most other government agencies, loud with its goals but muted with its execution.